welcome to bridge course digital lessons by telangana children today we will learn about energy resources now children have you seen the boy in the picture what is he doing and he is playing with bicycle now look at this picture what this man is selling he is selling vegetables now what is the vehicle he used to make this one now he used a puller rickshaw or puller cart to sell the vegetables in the streets now look at this picture it is a bullock cart now it is main source here to drag this bullock cart is bulls dear children what do you need to pull a bicycle puller cart bullock cart etc children have you ever seen this vehicle what is this it is a auto what is this it is a car it is a motorcycle it is a van what is needed to drive a car bicycle motorcycle van auto etc dear children have you seen these two pictures in the first picture one train is coming is moving now this train is running due to diesel here it is a diesel engine observe the second picture now in this picture the train is moving with the help of electricity now you can see a rod attached to the electric coils observe there are two trains in the picture what makes the first train run what does the second train run on now here first train runs by diesel and second train runs by electricity have you seen this s yes, it is a table fan something is needed to turn on the fan what is that i will give one clue to make better usage of this fan it should move and what is the source for its movement of its wings its source is nothing but electricity it is nothing but power have you seen this it is a torch light now it is in on position that means it is giving us light now what is the source here to give the light from this torch light now these are the batteries what is needed to light up the torch light it is nothing but power in the batteries if they exhaust we won't get light in torch light now dear children what are these now these are nothing but dry chillies now what is required to dry them it is nothing but energy from the sun due to the hot sun rays it will be dried up what is needed to dry the chillies it is sunlight now dear children observe these pictures carefully first picture it is a stove what is required to run it kerosene now it is a chulha now what is needed here wood is needed to get fire it is a gas stove what is required here a cylinder is required with lpg gas to get the fire and with the help of blue flame we will cook the food now this flame comes through the gas in one case kerosene in another case due to wood observe the various types of stoves required for making food what is required to lit all these stoves now we require kerosene or wood or lpg sometimes we require in some villages we will have gobar gas also now it is a fuel fuel is required to give us flame energy sources now there are two types of energy sources one is non renewable energy sources another one is renewable energy resources now what is meant by this non renewable energy sources the energy resources such as petrol diesel kerosene coal water etc can be depleted in few years these are known as non renewable energy resources this means the fuel such as petrol diesel kerosene coal they will deplete after few years if you continue their usage still 40 to 50 years there will be depletion there will be scarcity in these resources their rates will hike up 
such type of energy resources are called non renewable energy resources that means we cannot get them back again after their consumption such resources are called non renewable energy resources now there is second type of energy resources that is renewable energy resources what are they sources like sun rays wind do not diminish no matter how much we use these types of resources are known as renewable resources this means resources like sun rays wind water etc cannot be diminished how longer if we use also they will not diminish and they will be rejuvenating back daily we will get sun rays daily we will get the movement of wind such resources they never deplete such resources are called renewable energy resources now children what is this this is a piece of ice how do you feel if you take it in your palm you feel very cold that means after some time they melt we know that in nature water exist in three forms one is ice that is in solid form we call solid form of water as ice what is this this is a waterfall we are getting water through it what happens if ice is kept in open air certainly it will melt and it will turn into water if we heat ice it will change into water now what is this something is boiling in the vessel what is that water is boiling in the vessel now something is coming out of it what is that it is nothing but vapor vapor is the gaseous form of water if water is heated it turns into water vapor it is the gaseous form of water now children so far we have learnt there are three forms of water one is solid form that is ice one is liquid form that is water another one is gaseous form that is nothing but water vapor now children let us observe all the three in the first picture we are having ice in the second picture we are having water in the third picture we are having water vapor now let's see if ice is heated it turns into water and if water is heated it turns into vapor if again vapor is cooled it turns into water if water is cooled again it will turn into ice therefore now it is written symbolically whenever ice is heated it turns to water water is heated it turns to water vapor when water vapor is cooled it turns to water when water is cooled it turns to ice it is a reversible reaction now children what are this these are cloths why they are hanged like that after washing why they are hanged because in order to dry them due to wind blow and also hot sun rays water from the cloths will be evaporated and they will dry up now what is there here some water is there in the vessel due to heat in the bottom the water is again turned into small vapor and it is the leads to the formation of clouds but not actually in the room we cannot prepare but it happens in nature dear children when wet cloths are dried in the sun the water in the cloths evaporates this process is called evaporation of water now here in the process of evaporation what happens the water turns into its vapor state liquid state to vapor state now what this boy is doing as he is opening his mouth and speaking something and we can observe the small droplets of water through his mouth when he pumps air into 
we can observe these changes, but this actually happens during winter season. Now, the droplets appear as tiny little clouds in front of the mouth, which are hotter than the atmosphere, less in dense, so appears as cloud while we talk. The process by which water vapor turns into water is called condensation due to cool temperature and there will be some warmness in the body, this droplets of water will be hotter. Therefore, what happens? They will form into water vapor. Dear children, do you know how clouds form and give us rain? Now, look at this picture. Now, in this picture, we can see that the water, we have various water bodies on the surface of the earth. One of the large source of water is oceans. Instead of oceans, we are having rivers and also lakes from that water evaporates due to the heat of the sun and the evaporated water goes up and settles in the form of cloud and this cloud is nothing but the formation of water vapor and they will be accumulated at one place and they will mix up with the small fog and after some time we are having trees on the surface of the earth. Now, cool air goes up and also due to the coolness in the atmosphere, all this accumulated water vapor collects at one place and it turns into water and it forms again in the form of rain, in the form of showers. It is nothing but water cycle. Now, what is happening? from the oceans, water is evaporating and there is a formation of clouds. Due to the process of condensation, due to the cool air, now this water vapor will be condensed and give us droplets of water in the form of rain. Now, this is nothing but water cycle. On sunny days, the sun warms the earth. Due to this the water in the oceans, in the seas, in the rivers and the water in the pond get evaporated and stores in the form of clouds. The ones they get cooled will fall on the earth as rain. Now, you observe here it is the cyclic process, water is evaporating and forming clouds and again this accumulated water vapor due to coolness in the atmosphere, again due to the process of condensation, it is raining again back into the ocean or the source of water. Thus, the water in the oceans evaporates and turns into water vapor, forming water vapor clouds and recondensing rain one after another. In all the process says, we call the water cycle together, which means that the condensation and evaporation is constantly going process in nature. Children, can you identify what is this dam? Yes, it is the Nagarjun Sagar Dam built on the river Krishna. Wind is constantly moving and coming in from all directions from one place to another. The amount of air above the ground is higher in some places and lower in some places. Air has pressure, weight and occupancy properties. Now, before this we have studied about a dam. Here it is we are constructing a dam and due to that waterfall we are getting energy out of it. Now, how these winds are formed on the surface of the earth due to changes in temperature. Now, what happens? Hot air moves up, therefore, some empty place comes here. Now, the air from whenever here a low pressure is created, air moves from high pressure area to low pressure area. Therefore, we will have the movement of air. It is called wind. Now, what happens inside a hydro power plant? 
Now, there are some parts labeled here. Now, I will explain it briefly. It is the dam and here whenever the gates are opened, the water falls on the turbine and this turbine runs. When this turbine runs, this potential energy is saved in the form of dynamos and this will be stored in power houses and by using transformers we will get this power into our house. It exactly happens in the dam area where electric power is generated. Now, look at the picture showing the generation of electricity using water. This is called hydroelectricity. Water is sent through the pipes called penstock to run the turbines. When these turbines rotate, electricity is generated that will be stored and it will be supplied with the help of power lines to our houses. Now, children, have you played some games with air? Yes, in our childhood we played, we have made a whistle with the coconut leaves and how nice it is and we can play with it and take a stone and thread a polythene cover four directions to it and when you throw from upstairs, it will fall, reach the ground very slowly. Now, we are making a parachute on our own. Here, they, these are two children, they are making some vigil out of vapors. We can make it with chocolate vapors or papers. Let us see. Now, fold that the paper into two pieces, two halves and blow it. Now, you can listen the whistle sound. Like that, you can listen the whistle out of the vapors. Instead of this, you can take two chocolate vapors and also you can blow air, you will get a nice whistle. We played all during our childhood. Now, you also enjoy it in your holidays. Now, look at it. Two children are making a polythene cover and making a parachute. They tied a stone with the help of ropes and they will leave it from certain height. What happens you see? Now, the boy is threading, now he is throwing it up. Now, during its fall you observe that it is falling very slowly. It is nothing but making our own parachute with a help of polythene cover. Children, can you recognize these instruments? Yes, the first one is a flute, second one is a whistle, third one is a drum and here is a sahanai and here it is tabala and it is a mrudangam and this device is called oral instrument. With the help of it, we can produce several sounds. Now, this device is called mouth organ. With the help of it, we can produce the various types of sounds. Mouth organ and sehna are played by blowing air into them and whistle also, flute also by blowing air only, we can play with them and we will get nice sounds. The variations in blowing emits different sounds. Now, we are having the devices like a drum, tabala and murudangam. When we beat on the surface of this leather, what happens? The air inside the drum moves and makes vibrations and we will get sound out of it. They have air inside, hence they make sound when beaten with sticks. So, we say that air produces sound and occupies space. Now, there are several gases present in the atmosphere. Out of them, nitrogen is higher on the surface of the earth. It is almost 78.9 percentage and next oxygen, it is almost 20.8 percentage followed by water vapor, followed by carbon dioxide and argon, neon, krypton like the gases. Symbols to represent atmospheric changes. Now, there are some symbols 
to represent atmospheric changes. They are we will represent cloudy sky with dark colored clouds, clear sky with white color clouds rains by putting vertical lines as drops, hail storm by putting small pieces of ice, wind blowing from the west to east to west. Now, this is east, this is west. Now, wind is blowing from east to west direction. Always in map pointing, please remember dear children, the topmost portion is regarded as north, down portion is regarded as south, the portion which is right side to you is known as east, the portion which is left side to you when you are facing towards north is called west. Now, wind blowing from west to east, wind blowing from south to north it is from bottom to top, wind blowing from north to south, top to bottom. You can remember this arrowhead and show the wind direction. Now, cold weather, it is represented with this symbol, hot sunny day, it is represented with a scorching sun with red color or yellow color. Now, our earth atmosphere is divided into five layers based on changes in temperature. Now, what are these layers? First one is troposphere, second one is stratosphere where jet planes will run, third one is mesosphere, fourth one is thermosphere, fifth one is exosphere. All biotic and non-biotic life is present on this troposphere. Now, air is present in this troposphere, therefore, all living organisms are present in troposphere. Do you know in which sphere we are? In the atmosphere? Yes, we are in troposphere because air is present here. Now, we will discuss about seasons. Now, children, have you observed persons in the picture? What are they doing? And they are sitting before flame. And why do they sit before flame? To get some warmness. Can you imagine what is the season here? As yes, it is winter season. Now, observe this picture. Man is carrying an umbrella with him. Now, there is hot sun there are no droplets of water. Therefore, we can say that it is summer season, it is so hot. That is why the man is carrying an umbrella with him. Now, children observe this picture. A boy is carrying an umbrella, there are droplets of water. Therefore, we can easily say that it is rainy season. Children, what is this picture? Yes, it is a bicycle and it is bicycle wheel. Now, what is this arrow, where it is leading, what is this, yes it is dynamo. What is its function? Now, dynamo is attached to the bicycle wheel and whenever we pedal the bicycle, the wheel rotates and moves some distance. With that rotation, some power will be generated by this dynamo and it is passed to the light source and we will get this light during the night times. It is a dynamo mounted on the front wheel of the bicycle. As the wheel rotate fast, the energy will be generated. Here, there is no capacitors to store this energy. Automatically, the energy which is converted here is utilized to for the lighting of the torch. Now, children observe this picture. What are these? These are windmills and whenever the windmill rotates, here also some dynamos will be attached to them and they will be used to store the energy and produce the energy and electricity will be generated through it. It is utilized for running motors and lighting the lights etcetera. Do you know about these big fans? These big fans are called windmills. What makes them so rotate? It is the power of wind 
makes them to rotate. What are the benefits of this? We will get a clean fuel and we are getting energy out of renewable resources. This wind never exhaust and it is the cheap source of energy. This type of electricity is called wind power and it is used to pump water from the wells and also you can run street lights by using these windmills. Children have you observed? Yes, it is the day time. Yes, it is the night time. What do you observe during the night time? We observe stars during the night time. Apart from stars, we can also observe moon and can you say the brightest star apart from sun? It is the nearest star from our earth, it is the alpha century and also we will see in the sky planets also, but we cannot see all planets. Now, in our solar system, there are 8 planets. Now, look at the picture. Which planet is bigger in size? It is the Jupiter. Now, which planet is nearer to the sun? It is Mercury. Next to Mercury, what is the second layer? Here we are having Venus and next third is the Earth and next is the Mars, next is the Jupiter, next is the Saturn, next is the Neptune, next is the Uranus. All these are eight satellites are there, eight planets are there in solar system. Earth is also one of the planet. In solar system, eight planets revolve around the sun. Those are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. Now, children have you ever observed? It is a solar panel. When sun rays fall on solar panel, they will be heated up and produce electricity. This electricity is stored in battery. This electricity used to glow the lights during night time. Now, what are these device? It is solar lamp. It runs with the help of solar panel. It is a solar calculator. It is a solar car. Panels are mounted on it. It is a solar water heater. Nowadays, in all hostels, we are having solar water heater. Now, children, let us discuss what we have learnt in today's session. Energy is required to do work. Energy is available from various sources sun, air, water, petrol, diesel, kerosene, gas and coal. Out of these energy resources, water, petrol, gas, coal are non-renewable energy resources. Sun, air and wind are renewable resources. Water exists in three forms that is solid, liquid and gaseous form. Formation of clouds, the evaporation and condensation processes we have learnt. Electricity is generated in hydroelectric power stations and thermal power stations. The wind blows from all directions, it has some energy. The instruments such as mouth organ, the sehnai, drums like tabla and murdangam are played due to movement of air in them. The air contains gases such as oxygen, carbon dioxide and nitrogen. The layer of air around the earth is called the atmosphere. There are special symbols to denote earth atmosphere and its components. The earth atmosphere is divided into five layers based on changes in temperature. They are troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, thermosphere and exosphere. Wind power is generated by using the windmills. The sun along with eight planets revolve around the sun and are collectively called as solar system. Many electrical appliances are functioning by using the sun's energy through solar panels. Evaluation. What are the main sources of energy? Why do smoke clouds form near the mouths when we speak in winter? Where do windmills set up? What is the use of them? How do solar panels prepare electricity? Write a short note on the uses of energy resources. Write the names of five layers of atmosphere. By mentioning the layer, 
in which we are living draw a neat label diagram of solar system prepare a musical instrument by using a empty box polythene cover and rubber band now children you can prepare a nice instrument by using these devices dear children today we have learnt about the energy resources renewable and non renewable energy resources and sources of energy and also the sound producing agents how air can produce sound children let us meet in the next session to have another topic thank you